When I started writing Stranger Love three years ago, it was just this crazy dream. And I had no idea at the time how I could possibly bring it to life. Uh, the piece is massive, it's six hours long, it's ecstatic, it's devoted to total joy, and it's not like anything else that, uh, that I've experienced, and it's definitely not something that I would receive as a commission. And so I had to make this decision, essentially, in my life, um, which is that as a composer, what my goal is, is to share the most meaningful experience that I possibly can with other people, with you. And it's not to make money, and it's not to have a career. And there are a lot of other things that I could do in my life if my goal was to make money or to have a steady career. And so because of that, it was worth all of the uncertainty and all of the risk of not knowing how it was going to exist. Because doing this work, being a composer, writing this piece, it's not about me. It's about offering something to the world, to other people, offering an experience that I think is worthwhile and some sort of illumination of the beauty of being alive. And now we're able to tell you that in January you can listen to this music and you can have this experience that started out from that one crazy dream.